Yes! Yes! Chelsea fans! You see, now I can kiss the bird. It looks as if we're making mistakes the past one year. But now our technical directors, our scout, they are doing a great job. Ugo Chuku deal, done. What else? Young, talented players. 600 million the last season. Now, it looks as if we are making the right decisions. Even though most of these players right now, I believe they are going to go on loan. But, we are making the right choices. We can only hope and believe that this new young talent, by next season, will be ready for the Premier League. We go to good deal. Seal. Like I told you earlier on this uh, today, this morning, the deal is worth around 23 million euros. The feed agreed with Ray's medical test book, long-term in deal in place. Loan to Strasbourg. As soon as everything is set after the medical test, I believe, or from my sources, is going to go on, on loan. But that decision will be made by our coach. That is one good thing I like about this current management. The decision to loan him to rent or for him to stay, the final decision will be made by Poch. The final decision will be made by Poch. Stino. That is what we have been looking for all these years. As a Chelsea fan, technical decisions about players will be made by the coach. And now, that is what we are seeing. I am so happy today. And I believe you out there as a Chelsea fan, you are very much excited. You are very much excited. The coming years will be great. Trust me. Young and talented players, we are now recruiting after the mistakes of the past. That is very great on our side, on the side of the new technical directors, the new recruitment department. What else can we ask for as Chelsea fan? This season, this coming season, <laughs> I tell you what, we can lead some of them to loan, yet after that, they will gain the experience for the Premier League. That is a good aspect of it. We are not going to make the mistakes again about uh, uh, the players that we loaned out or we sold when they were young. Like Mohamed Salah, you remember? It's one of our regrets, as Chelsea fans, it's one of our regrets that we sold Mohamed Salah out. It's one of our regrets to date. Set mistakes, we are not going to make them any longer. Quickly, we move on. That deal is already concluded. Ochuku deal is already concluded. Medical booked. Once the medical test is done and confirmed, document to be signed straight away. Hopefully, this coming new week, everything will be saved. Between Monday, Tuesday, before Wednesday, trust me, document to be signed. Yes, now moving to Casado and Brighton. I, actually, come to think of it, I am, I am, I am aware or I'm informed by my sources that Brighton was also looking at the same deal with uh, with Ogochuku. Ogochuku. Brighton wanted the player player so badly, but you know, Chelsea, we have the money power. We have the money. We can talk with our money. Listen, Brighton, if you are hearing me right now, you better move quickly and release Kasaido for us. We, after all, we are ready to loan you Ogochuku. We can loan you Ogochuku for one year. But that deal, that 80 million, rethink really about it carefully and release the young man, Kasaido, for us. We need Kasaido in this season. Chelsea need Kasaido in our midfield. And the truth of the matter is that deal will go through. I'm very much aware, my, my sources, and Fabrizio Romano confirmed this, this issue. Right now, as we are speaking, the problem we have with the bid that we were making until now we are going to offer the fifth or the fourth or the fifth bid to Brighton. The problem is Kaisaido had an, a clause inserted in the previous agreement with the club that he is coming from in Ecuador. Kaisaido had a, a clause inserted, 
a sell-on clause inserted from the club from Ecuador. Sell-on clause of about 20 to 25%. And so anytime Chelsea negotiates with Brighton, it looks like because of that 20 to 25% that the Ecuadorian club is demanding, the amount that will remain for Brighton is like, it looks like small, too small for them. That is why they are insisting on the 100 million. So that even after the even after the 20% the 20, 20 or 25% is deducted, Brighton will still have a substantial amount. Remember, Kaisado was bought for how much? 7 million euros. Only two seasons ago. 2021, if I'm not make, mistaken. 7 million euros two seasons ago. 2021, 2020, 2020, 2021 season. Now they want to sell him for 100 million because of the clause that was inserted in the previous agreement with the previous agreement from the Ecuadorian club that is the issue but I believe now that this secret is made known any moment from now look Brighton just give up we can we can add an extra 5,000 yes I think right now we all have to be considering the 100 million tag no but Extra five, five million, five million extra. I believe Chess will go with, maybe with another five million add-on. We can accept it. But Brighton, you need to come back again with the right mindset. You have agreed 20% or 25% sell-on fee with the Ecuadorian club. But you still need to understand the current market situation. The player you bought for only 7 million euros. It's very important. Brighton, sit up. The club in Ecuador, I'm told it's a what? Independent del Vel. Yes, which is, that is the reason why. That is the reason why all this delay. But that will be sorted out. I'm just urging Brighton to come to a compromise with Chelsea. Quickly, I want to go to tonight's match. Yes. Tonight match, I believe, is the match to reshape the team and the squad. A match to reshape the team, the team from the previous games that we played. Tonight match, I want to predict my predicted lineup for tonight. Number one, Rhys James. I expect Rhys James to rest. Maybe second half he might come in. But I expect Rhys James to be on the bench. Kepa. In the goalpost, Malugusto, Thiago Silva, Levi Cowell, Ben Chiwell in defense. I want to take it again. That is my predicted lineup for tonight. Chelsea fans, take it for me. My predicted lineup from tonight Kepa, Malugusto, Thiago Silva, Levi Cowell in defense, and Ben Chiwell. In defense, in midfield of three, Enzo, Andre Santos, and Galaga. Galaga in midfield with Enzo and Andre Santos. In attack, Christopher Nkuku, Modric with Nicholas Jackson. That is our predicted lineup for tonight's game. You can also come up with your predicted lineup in. The comment section. Remember, comment on our videos. It's very important. Comment on the videos. Like the video. If before you comment and like, please remember to subscribe. We are still new in the business. We are still new with this in, in this uh, business. Please, please, please. All you can do to help us, to support us, to promote us. So we give you daily updates. Sometimes two or three or four times in a day. That you be the first to hear is that you subscribe to the channel. You. Click on your notification bell. It's very important. Click on your notification bell. So anytime we upload a new video, you'll be the first to hear it. It's very, very important. Tonight, I'm predicting, once again, 3-0. 3-0 for Chelsea. 3-0 for Chelsea. I don't, I don't go, I don't bet, but I'm predicting 3-0 for Chelsea. And I'm taking the lineup again, predicted lineup from us. Kepa, Malogusto, Thiago Silva, Levacoil, 
Ben Chilwell in, in defense, Enzo, Andre Santos, and Gallagher in midfield three, Christopher Nkuku, Modric, in a, and Nicolas in attack. Jackson might come in at the second half. See you again some other time. Shalom and peace.